Hi. What's up, Indy? So I weighed myself this morning and I was 185 with just straight waking up, no liquids, just, you know, doing my morning routine and then coming home from work after a full day of drinking water, coffee, eating, I weighed myself again, five additional pounds and my body fat went up 0.7%. I don't think that's correct. So let's talk about it. All right, what's going on guys? My name's Wes and this is Dirty. It's been on my bathroom floor, what can I say? This is my bathroom scale. And specifically, this is the one that uses BIA to give me body fat percentage or bioelectrical impedance analysis. And specifically, this one is a foot to foot because you stand on it with your feet and it shoots one very undetectable, minuscule amount of electricity up one foot, goes up into your body, back down, and then the other. And then the processor or the little computer in here measures the resistance levels and spits back out the lean muscle mass, the body water composition of your body, and a body fat reading. Now, what I just said there is that it goes from foot to foot. So this one specifically only measures the bottom half of your body. Because if we can try to remember from physics class, electricity is lazy. If you think about lightning and lightning storm, that's why the tallest buildings usually or always get struck if before anything else at the bottom. So what this is doing is going up one foot. It's not gonna go all the way up and measure all the resistance in your body. It's gonna go back down through the other one in the shortest path possible. And that's what makes these types of scales highly inaccurate. And studies have shown as much as 8% off. I mean, just this reading that I just showed. This morning, I measured at 13.5% body fat. I would say based on my progress, I may even be under or around there to get a good reading. But for me to gain 0.7% from this morning to now, is it's just not possible. And that's because this morning when I measured, I was just completely empty. And now after drinking water and coffee and eating three meals plus, I have all of a sudden added extra. And that's again because of the electricity being shot up into the body and back down to the other foot. Now, th there's also issues of the accuracy because of all of our different ethnicities and how our bodies are composed. For example, myself, I am half Polynesian and half Caucasian. So I don't necessarily have the same composition as someone else who is pure Caucasian or African-American or Middle Eastern. There's a study called, Is Bioelectrical Impedance Accurate for Use in Large Epidemiological Studies? And within that study, they looked at a huge amount of data from over 1,600 studies who, that used BIA. And from there, they couldn't gain confidence that the BIA information was accurate across all. Because in one study, it would show, yes, you can use it for pregnant Caucasian women, or you could use it over here for children, or you know, just anything across the board. Because what these scales also have, and some have patented, proprietary algorithms that will take those readings and perform their own interpretation of the data. And unless they publish it or let you know, or if you can go in the patent and understand what they're saying, you're not going to understand how they're doing it. So what I'm trying to get at with these scales is that numerous studies have shown their inaccuracy, yet they're still very popular consumer products. I knew this going into it and I still bought one, but I bought a cheap one because I'll tell you the best way to use these studies. Now, I believe my body fat is probably actually around somewhere of the low 13%. I went through a big cutting phase when the whole quarantine thing started. Initially, according to the readings, which I took at the same time every day under the same conditions, 
I started out at about 205 pounds and 15-1% body fat. When it, quarantine started, I knew it could go one of two ways. It could go, I'm going to gain a lot of weight, I'm not going to exercise, and I'm just going to get bigger. Or, I'm going to use this time to challenge myself, really narrow down my macros, my calories, monitor it, continue working out, and see how much I can cut within that time period. And I ended up cutting, according to the data of my scale, about 20 pounds and 2% body fat. Now, I can't confidently tell people that the reading on this is my actual body fat. Like, I could say, you know, I'm 13.5% body fat, which is my lowest reading. But what I can do is use it only as a tool to measure progression. And that's what I did. So now that we know that these scales are inaccurate and shouldn't be trusted as far as a confidence of this is my actual body composition, we can look at the data. For example, my app shows me my muscle mass, my subcutaneous fat, and my body fat percentage. And those are the tools that I kept track of. Like I did not care about my weight. So every morning I would measure at the same time. I would do my morning routine, I would make sure there's no water in my system, and I would be completely naked before my shower because I didn't want anything to be on my person at which point the, electric, the electricity would have some sort of negative effect on it. Now I don't think light clothing is going to have an effect because again it's staying within my system but you know I, I wanted to keep all conditions the same and that's how I did it and that's how I kept the most accurate readings because from one day to the next I mean I just gained technically 0.7 percent body fat according to the scale however I'm gonna wake up in the morning have my routine and I should be back to normal so when you're looking at these scales unless you're gonna buy a very expensive in-body machine for home use or go get a DEXA scan this is something that you can use to measure progress and occasionally if you want to you can take a tape measure and measure your measure your waist measurements because that's not something you are want to do every day if you're trying to measure progress so just something I wanted to share because I've used this as a very good tool to cut and my before and after photos look great at least in my opinion so I think they have their use, their home use, but you got to be very careful on how you're using it and don't be discouraged if it doesn't seem like you're making progress because perhaps you're taking measurements at different times a day, which can really have a negative effect on your motivation. All right, so if you like the review, hit the like button, comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on what else I could review or have some input on. Um, until next time, subscribe that way and hit that bell for some notifications because I'm going to do more reviews and yeah get out there and do something awesome peace